So today we're gonna to make mussels marinara coming up right now. Oh, by the way, it looks like this and this. Let's go over mussels, talk a little bit about how to set them up, how to get them ready to cook. Because most of the time when you buy them from the store, they're not ready, they're not ready yet. This one right here, see that thing? That's called a beard, okay? Looks kind of gross, right? Mussels are a labor, you know, it's a labor thing. So you gotta spend about 10 or 15 minutes before you cook them to try to remove the beards. That being said, you're never gonna get them all. So I've been doing this for the last two hours. Take some water, a couple tablespoons of salt. It doesn't have to be exact or anything like that. You know, you're trying to get similar environment to, to where they are. Get them in there. It's gonna, it's gonna let them open. Okay, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna filter out sand, but they're also gonna, it'll be easier to grab their beard. Let's go back to the beards. All right, so I did two, two changes of water and I cleaned most of them, but I'm gonna show you right here. This muscle, it's alive, it opened up and I was able to expose the beard. Now you wanna pull the beard towards the joint. Grab it, grab it tight, and then bolt, work both ways and then pull. And then you pull it out. Now you can tell you pulled out most of it when you have different color thread at the end, all right? You're not gonna be able to get them all. And then you'll find some loose threads still in them. And then another thing what you can do is if you have, if you have what's called a muscle brush, you can use that. Or you get a brand new Scotch-Brite and you can just remove any debris. Yeah, so I spent about 15 minutes prepping these and yeah, so here's another one. Look, and that one just came right out. I just pulled it out, but most of the time they're not that easy. Most of the time they're very, uh, very hard to get out. Okay, and then there's some debris here. You can take your fingernail, you can scratch it, or you can just take this. You can try to loosen it up with an abrasive pad. These are pretty well prepped now. Mussels look jet black when they have water on them. Right now they've been drying out a little bit because I've been prepping for the video. So now they get a little dull color. Tomatoes. So I got San Marzano plum tomatoes and I pulsed them in the blender. Just, I just touched them. I didn't want to, I didn't want it to go nuts. Hot pepper flakes. I love it in mussels marinara. Lots of basil. Great basil. Uh, we have salt, pepper, olive oil. Don't need to show you that. You know, I got the two different types of olive oils. Regular olive oil and extra virgin olive oil. This is a really good extra virgin olive oil. I love it. I've been saying it in all my videos. I realize a lot of people, you know, have not seen any of my videos. So that's why I keep reiterating it. Okay, bread is nice for it too. So this is semolina bread. This is Italian semolina, um, seeded. It's, it's, love this type of bread. You can take it, toast it, and you can serve a bunch of these pieces around your finished mussels, and it's really nice. Or you don't even, you know, if you get a nice fresh loaf, don't even worry about doing that. And obviously for the sauce, we're gonna use garlic. So I'm gonna take six cloves. I'm using two pounds of mussels, so that's a good ratio for me. And you know, you just smash it with the back of your knife, you know, or you can just give it a whack. Okay, by doing that, we can uh, more easily remove the skin. I never buy jarred garlic. I never buy any type of stuff like that. What I will buy occasionally is a lot of stores now are selling garlic taken out of skin. They'll put a date on it when they did it. The thing you have to realize is once the garlic loses, when, when it's out of the skin, it starts to get ultra potent. And um, you know, you'll reach a point where, you know, if you have it in your fridge, it will start stinking up the whole fridge and you know, probably your whole house. So it gets too, too strong. So. That stuff, even though it's like, oh, I could, I could buy a hundred heads, of a hundred cloves of garlic, um, you're not going to be able to use it all. There we go. I don't like to do my garlic too thin because I t it tends to burn too quickly in the pan. I'm not going to put any oregano in here or any other um, dried herbs. I, I rarely ever use that in any of my sauces. Um, you know, per that's a personal preference thing too. You know, if you like it, use it. Oh, by the way, I, one thing I forgot to show, uh, it, which will you'll, you'll see obviously is white wine. I'll put white wine in here too. I'm gonna put about three tablespoons, maybe a quarter cup of olive oil. Don't be shy with the olive oil. You know, don't, don't, don't put in one and a half tablespoons. That's not gonna do, that's not gonna be enough. Okay, I'm just gonna let this garlic get lightly golden. And then once it does, I'm gonna add some wine in here. Actually, we'll do a little hot pepper, wine, and then tomatoes. Okay, there's my hot pepper. I'm gonna do about a quarter to a half teaspoon. I like a lot of hot pepper in there. Just smell it already. I'm gonna add a little bit of wine in there. About a quarter cup to a half. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the heat up. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this come up for a minute and then we'll get the lower it down and we'll get the sauce in there. 
Okay, get our tomatoes in there. I'll bring this to the simmer for a couple minutes and then we'll get our mussels in. Our basil will be at the end, you know, never put basil, don't ever put it, like cook it in oil or anything like that. that hit that up at the end. Mussels are gonna release some liquid from them. You know, they have, they have their own liquid inside of them. Let's turn our heat to medium and get our mussels in. Kind of bury them in the sauce here and then we're gonna cover. It's gonna take about five, six minutes, maybe three minutes, some will open earlier. When I use, when I do clams, when I do little necks, I remove them as they open. For mussels, I don't bother with it. They're all gonna open. Um, if they don't open, if a bunch don't open, then you got bad mussels. But um, these are good already because you can see when you're, when you're doing the water process, you can see them open and closing and filtering themselves. Move them around a bit. I can see some are opening already, but they need a few more minutes. Kind of bury them in there. Let the steam do the work. All right, it's been about five minutes. Most of them are open right now. They are pretty much all open, which, um, you know, that's, that's great. All right, they're done. I'm going to turn off the heat. All right, guys, there's mussels marinara. It really, uh, you know, it's a quick one. We made a quick sauce. We put the mussels in. The biggest work you're going to have here is making sure you're cleaning your mussels well. Okay, final bit here. Nice tear basil. Now you can also uh, run a knife through this if you want. I just like the freshness of tearing it. I do the same thing with my clams. Clams and red sauce. So there it is, guys. Mussels marinara. Do me a favor. Subscribe first. Like, share, do all that. It really helps me out. Also, leave me a comment because I would like to know the next recipe. If you point me in the right direction, then I'll put it on the list. That's the one I'll do. You know, things that are coming up is I'm going to make sausage. I'm going to make a lot of different pastas, homemade pastas, brajol, meatballs, basically all the stuff that you have in, you know, in, you know, in an Italian American family. So, um, but I'm always looking for new ideas. Anyway, appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks.